Namaste. Hope all are fine. Today we are going to discuss one mystical aspect of our life. Mystical aspect where we can experience something miraculous things. After this video, some of you may join us for this program. I do not know how many of you will be joining. What experience we are going to have. There is a hill, a sacred hill. There are four yugas. Krita Yuga or Satya Yuga, Tretra Yuga, Dwapara Yuga and Kali Yuga which we are in and which is currently running. There is a sacred hill, maybe known to us, maybe not known to some of the members. Because most of the members of YouTube and WhatsApp groups are very, very sacred and very, very spiritual. They have more knowledge, more wisdom, more spiritual understanding than us. So there is a very sacred hill from the rishis and from the munis, from the learned men of the yore. It is said this particular sacred hill was fire during the Satya Yuga or Krita Yuga. The whole hill was ruby or manik or manikam, gemstone, very precious gemstone, which are weighed and sold in carats. One carat is 20% of a gram. Now you can understand what will be the value of this hill. During the Dwapra Yuga, the same hill become gold. Gold means not rolled gold. It is 24 karat Aparanji gold. During Kali Yuga, the same hill has turned into rock, rock mountain. In and around this sacred hill, many Siddhas are living. Many saints have passed through this hill. Many sacred saints lived in this holy hill and they have settled there itself. They have created a lot of ashrams in and around the hills. During the full moon day or Pornami, the Siddhas and Munis who are invisible to most of us, will be walking around, bringing out a very nice fragrance. Sometimes they will come down and mingle with ordinary people, maybe a Raja, maybe a Praja, maybe an ordinary person. They will enter the body of some beggars, some walkers. Even maybe if 10 of us are going, they may enter any one of us and they will enjoy the conversation what we are having with others, other group members. Such is the experience one can have. This hill has united Lord Shiva and Mother Parvati and this hill is the source of Ardhana Rishwara. Parvati was helped by Gautama Muni for attaining or merging with Shiva, Shiva becomes fire. In the form of fire, Shiva gives darshan as one energy to 
entities are two divine entities of Shiva and Parvati. Around this sacred hill also, there are eight sacred lingams. Indra Lingam, Agni Lingam, Vayu Lingam, Yama Lingam, Varuna Lingam, Vayu Lingam, Kubera Lingam and also finally Ishanya Lingam. These eight Shiva Lingams are not only guarding the sacred hill but also sanctifying the same hill and as the creation creates of its own the deity of Lord Shiva Parvati in the form of Ardhanarishwara is guarded and protected by self-protection. These activities happen. You may be knowing which is this particular hill I am referring. This is Thiruvannamalai. Annamalai is a deity. Thiru is the respect given. Malay is hill, Thiruvannamalai. After giving Sapa Vimokshanam to Parvati Devi, Lord appears as a huge fire to the devotees and during the subsiding period of the huge fire, he comes down and becomes a solid lingam at the temple itself. Also, Bhoganathar's Sishya or disciple and Karuvarar Siddhar, disciple, Idaikadar Siddhar has taken Jiva Samadhi in this sacred temple only. Karuvarar Siddhar is the Siddha who built Tanjavur temple and Idaikadar Siddhar helped a lot for constructing this Thiruvannamari temple who took Jiva Samadhi at the same temple of Thiruvannamalai, Annamalaya temple. About Parvati merging with Lord Shiva, I have covered in the videos related to life and journey of Mahotar Babaji, where I have described how Parvati closed the eyes of Lord Shiva, the universe becoming dark. Subsequently, she is making a Shivalingam and worshipping the Shivalingam made of sand at Kanchipuram. Shiva appears before her, helps her and advises her to come to a place called Thiruvannamalai where I will help you to atone your sins of doing something ignorantly. When Parvati proceeds to Thiruvannamalai from Kanchipuram, there Gautama Muni helps Parvati to complete her penance and merge with Lord Shiva. This we have explained already. Some of the members who want to refresh, they can go to Life and Journey of Mahathar Babaji. In one of the videos, you can find this also. Okay? Aruna means red. Asalam means mountain. Arunachalam is a red hill. Aruna means red fire. Asalam means what you call the mountain. Arunachalam is the place where the mountain, the hill becomes red because it was a fire, it will be red. Even if it is cold, it will be red. If it is manikam ruby, also will be red. Only in Kali Yuga, everything becomes black. The rock also is black. This is the spiritual understanding what we should have. During the period when Pornami Titi is in operation, it is said Siddha start walking in and around the hills and during their walking a smell comes out, a fragrance is spread around. Siddhas are as we discussed set to enter into some souls and they will walk also. The walking around the hill is called Girivalam, that means Pradakshana or Parikrama. During this Titi period of each Purnami day, lakhs and lakhs of people 
I have seen earlier, once upon a time, where I visited a long time back, continuously I had gone there for more than 12 times. Mataji also had come and we had also taken a group with us. It is a 12 to 14 kilometers we will have to walk. The walking is a pleasure. Nobody feels that we are exhausted, we are troubled, we find it difficult to walk. No such feeling comes during the Purnami days. Many times when I visited, I could see more than 20 lakh people coming there and walking around the hill. This is a very sacred experience one has to undergo. Now Girivalam also is called Parikrama or Pradakshina. The word pra indicates removal of sins. Likewise, the da indicates fulfilling of aspirations, whatever aspirations we have. Most of the spiritual aspirants have only spiritual aspirations, but material will flow to them. Material seekers will go for material aspiration, sometimes come or not come. But when you go for spiritual aspect, Material also flows towards you. This is one understanding we have to keep in our mind. Kshi, the word Kshi gives freedom for the individual walker to get full freedom from future births and future deaths. Again, the last word in Pradakshina, Na gives the full of knowledge, nanam, nana, the deity, the siddhas, the divinities deliver knowledge, wisdom, jnana to us. The purpose of Pradikshana ensures to an individual who seeks spiritual life, happiness in this world, happiness in heaven, and happiness in the Satya Loka also. This is the understanding what we will have to gather. Usually the walking around the hill he is done in a slow motion, not like a customary just walk and come back. Those who cannot walk, they go by wheelchair or by some pulled carts etc. That is when there are disabilities around us, within us because of the age, because of the other bodily reasons, okay, we can get energy of the Lord, no doubt in it. But when we are able to walk, we have to walk slowly. And during the walking period, we can discuss with others, there is no sin on it. But most of the time, we can continue Japa taking the name of the Lord, repeatedly taking the name of the Lord name of Mahathar Babaji, Anay Nagalakshmi or any other deity interesting to you, attracting you, you can just repeat their name is called Japa. That act can bring more sanctification in your walking also. Our walking should be as though a very fat man is walking or a fully confined pregnant lady is walking. That is the walking style we should adopt when you go around the hill which will be covered by 12 to 14 kilometers. There is also one more incident simultaneously happened here where Brahma and Vishnu had the doubt about the beginning and the end of Lord Shiva. Both of them wanted to know the end as well as the beginning of Lord Shiva. Shiva gives them a chance to see the top as well as the bottom, the siras as well as the padam. Brahma agrees to go up, take the body of a swan and flies up, whereas Vishnu takes the body of the boar or varaha and digging goes down. During the process, Vishnu comes back and submits to Lord Shiva that it is impossible to see the beginning of you. Brahma also comes back and says, I have seen the Siras of you. He takes the witness of a flower called Tarambu. 
Thalevova or Kevada. This particular flower meets Lord Brahma on the way and it says, I have been traveling 40, 50,000 years. I am coming from the Siras of the Lord Shiva. Then Brahma calculates a theory and informs the flower, you be the witness to Shiva that I have seen the Siras. This incident many of you may be knowing. Subsequently, Shiva becomes fire and takes the Linga Rupam. That incident or sacred incident also has happened in the sacred mountain only. This particular mountain has much more and much more mystical things. Ramana Maharishi spent a lot of his days here. Shashadri Maharishi spent several years here. Gautam Mumani was present here for so many years and days. There are so many, so many learned men, Siddhas, are walking through and even now spending their life in and around this very sacred mountain. Now I am coming to the end. On 17th September 2024, the Purnima starts early morning around 11 o'clock and it will be in operation next day early morning. So 17th morning, myself and Mataji are planning to be in Tiruvannamalai. We are go planning to go around the sacred hill as Girivalam, Pradikshana or Parikrama by walk. Some of the members who want to join us at Tiruvannamalai can join. Some of the members who want to come here and join us in Bangalore itself, we will change our program and we will make a bigger vehicle and take some of the members. Whichever way is convenient for you, please choose. If you take a decision not to join also is good for you. If you take to join this program also good for you. If you want to come with us from Bangalore is okay. If you want to join at Tiruvannamalai also is okay. But you will have to take a fast decision because getting accommodation for even one day during this Purnima will be one of the most impossible tasks. So take a decision. We will be going there and we will meet you in Tiruvannamalai, all those members who are interested on 17th September 2024. Around 11 o'clock, we will start our walking journey, Pradikshana, Parikrama, or Girivalam. Till such time, Om Sadguru Baba Ji Namaha. Om Sadguru Baba Ji Namaha. Om Sadguru Baba Ji Namaha.